Serie Nazionale are still your leaders over in Serie A, but of course their nearest and dearest AC Milan are breathing down their necks. And guess what's in store this week? Double match day. We've got the latest round of picks next. Today we take a look at match day number 25 out in Syria and we'll get to that. Oh yes, maramissimo, in just a second. If you're new to the channel, I'm asking you where the heck have you been, boys? Smash your subscribe and get your bang up today. All things Syria related, blabbing over places, world football related. We got it all here, boys, on the wall, Ruski. That's right, goodness gracious me. Uh, of course, Inter Milan keep up the heat. The heat. AC Milan also right on the tails, but what's going wrong with Juventus? Oh my goodness, fall further off. 10 points adrift now off the leaders international we're going to look at all of that in a minute of course big big shout out to the vip band of brothers the patreonals that's what i'm talking about uh big big shout out to you guys thank you very much for supporting the channel behind the scenes we're trying to get them up to 30 we're up to 25 right here right now so if you if it's in your in your winning in your being to be able to support you in another way i would appreciate considering becoming patreons uh, check out the link down below patreon.com forward slash proceeds but anyway we're gonna jump in the deep end and look at my picks then we're gonna take a look, look at your picks and then of course we're gonna go into the next round of matches which will take place this Tuesday onwards. Let's get into it. Of course, here we bloody go. Kicking all the way back. All the way back. When was it? It was, It was of course, uh, a Torino against South Sudo. was supposed to be uh, this weekend, but unfortunately it did not take place. It was postponed. So I'll we'll have to do that one again. I don't know what the deal was with that. Maybe COVID, I don't know. Uh, kicking off, it was Spezia against Parma on to Saturday. That was the 27th of Feb. 2-2 in the end on this one. Of course, goal scorers were Emmanuel Geisi with a couple of goals there for Spezia. Jan Kermo and Hernani on the score sheet, of course, for Parma. Uh, give themselves uh, uh, an away day point there. Actually, with a 0-0 draw on this one, so not too shabby. Uh, kicking off forward, Bologna up against Lazio. 2-0 win for Bologna in the end. Ibrahim Mabai on the squash with Nicolo Sansone getting the goals for Bologna. And they beat Lazio. Sh sh uh, surprise, surprise there. Who saw it? Not me. 2-1 win for Lazio on the end. Uh, meanwhile, Verona against Juventus set up all square. That was on Saturday. Antonio Barriac on the score for Verona. Cristiano Ronaldo opened up scoring for Juventus. Not good enough though. 1-1 in the end. 2-1 for me. I thought Juventus would go out on top of this one, but unfortunately, no. Into Sundays we go, my boys. Sampdoria lost to Atalanta. Ruslan Malinovsky on the score sheet. Ruben Gusens as well for Atalanta. Give them the the W uh, over, uh, of course, Sam Dorash over the 3-1 win for Atlanta. Not too shabby. 2-0 uh, for, for the real deal, of course. Uh, Crotone against Cagliari and that was a 2-0 a win for Cagliari. 0-0 uh, for me. Not good enough. Not good enough indeed. Leonardo Pavlotti. Pavoletti on the score sheet. Jao Pedro as well from the score, from the penalty spot for Cagliari. Chalanampos Leganigis uh, gave himself sent off for Cagliari on that one. I actually went with a 1-0 win. Uh, what am I looking at? Sorry, I went with a 0-0 draw. Meanwhile, Udinese did beat Fiorentina 1-0. Uh, of course, the one only goal scorer on that one. That was, of course, Ilya Nestorovsky on the score sheet for that one. Actually, with a 2-1 win for Udinese. So not too shabby. Internationale kept up the heat. Of course, 3-0 wins over Genoa, and I called it. I got it bang on the bloody nose. Lukaku on the score sheet. Alex, Anch Alex Sanchez as well. Matteo Damian in the Manchester United reunion. Uh, look at that. Look at it. It's the mini Man U. Uh, all goal scorers on the score sheet there. Meanwhile, Napoli, uh, they did uh, beat to Benevento 2-0. Uh, well, the final score 2 1 for me. Uh, Dries Mertens and Matteo, Matteo Politano on the score sheet. Coolio uh, Kulabari on the score sheet as well. Uh, got himself sent off for Napoli. Uh, 2 1 for me. And of course, my boys, or my tip for the title, uh, AC Man 2 1 winners over Roma. Actually, went with a 2 2 draw. I thought they would slip up here. But fortunately, I was wrong. Frank Kessie, Anthony Rebic on the score sheet for Milan. Judah Batut on the score sheet for Roma. And as you can see, I got myself 4, which is not great. Let's have a look at what the sun to the table. Of course, Inter Milan with a four-point clearance over AC. Uh, Juventus, are, of course, uh, what are they? Six points adrift of AC Milan. Atlanta level on points with Juventus, of course. And, of course, the chasing pack, Roma, Napoli. And, of course, Roma, uh, Lazio, not too far away from the top three either. And the foot of the table, Crotone, Palma, Cagliari going down as it stands. Torino uh, doing some hard work and keeping themselves above water. Uh, as for the thick of things, let's take a look at your picks then, shall we? Of course, La Prediction League again, full swing. If you get 0-3, you're, you're either in you're either the shit-faced gang or you're in the... Uh, or, or you're in this one here. What's gone on? What's gone on here? Look at this guy. This guy's an amateur. He doesn't even know what he's doing. Seven plus. What a clown. I don't know if that's right. But anyway, you know what the deal is. Of course, Alan MC, you know me. Alan MC, well done to you, brother. Well done. You did good. James B. City, oh, great. You did good. Yeah, but also did bits. Judge, you got ice. not too shabby. Yeah, Vincent Hong did poop. Deep the Great also did shocking. Game and Charlie did all right. And Shepard well, we did very, very well. Well done to you, of course. Oh, wow, brother. Oh, oh Maria, well done to you, of course. Also fantastic. Alex Weller did bits. And oh, my Escamillo, well done to you, of course. What about the next one? I say, I do. 
did great. Costas K, he's not okay. Matt Gunner did bits. I'm sure he did all right. Uh, Hansworth did okay. Gerald Hulavala also did very good. Camille Tran, not too bad. He did poop. Uh, Janik Seyfried also did okay. Russell Foss, though, fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Uh, Brigitte Hulipala Martinez. The Hulipalas are in the house. Goodness gracious, it's like a reunion, family. You did all right. Magic Monday also did good. Leo Oliveri also did very, very well indeed. Uh, the leaderboard for this week, if you need to visit Hong, Costas KD, but the great. And Camille Chan, you did shite. Uh, but Alan MC, you know me. Alan MC, gaming Charlie, Georgie, get ISFN, of course, over Eskimo. Did very, very well indeed. Uh, six out of, of course, uh, nine, which is pretty good, which is pretty good, of course. Uh, what about the overall leaderboard? What's that done to the overall King Ping himself? Well, it is still our nearest and dearest. It is on Magic Monday, but of course, this week, he had a bit of a... He did all right. He got himself five. So, of course, he's keeping up the trend. But Alex, well, I keep up the heat as well. Uh, Game and Charlie closing in. That's what we like to see. Oh, Mascaville also closing in as well. Of course, look at the Patreons. Right in the thick of things. Uh, so, was the bottom end of it. But anyway, that's, of course, then. But, of course, this week, we've got these games to look forward to in, of course, a short, sharp uh, turnaround. So, get your picks in nice and early. Uh, kick it all off. It'll be Lazio against Torino. This will be on Tuesday night. Uh, of course, Patreon, the last six. Four for two, uh, Lazio. One for Torino and two, uh, one draw, of course, last round. In Lazio, it was a fourth near win for Lazio back in October 2019. Francesco Acciebi on scores with Ciro Immobile with a couple of goals there and Andrea Belletti with a big oh gee oh my goodness. And Nicholas Nukungo on score sheet uh, actually got himself sent off uh, last time around. Meanwhile they played the Interino this season it was a seven goal thriller. Oh yes they don't see many of these. 4-3 three, four, four, three in the favour of Lazio. Andres Piero on score sheet. Filippo uh, Casado. Ciro Immobile and Sergio Milikovic Savic on score sheet for Lazio. Bremner, Bellotti and Lukic on score sheet for Torino. Uh, they lost though. Of course heading into Lazio have actually won their last six matches at home. Uh, Lazio also undefeated in 14 last 15 home matches against Serena in all competitions. They come into this though. Uh, Lazio just one win in the past four games. That one win against Sampdoria. Meanwhile, uh, Torino unbeaten the last six, picking up five draws though, and only the one win. Look at the bookies' odds on this one. Then shall we? Of course, Lazio uh, two, uh, five to two on for the victory. Uh, Stone Cold favorite seven to two is your draw. Seven to one is your Torino. Of course, Torino coming at you all the way down into of course uh, 17th. But a win for them. They could close in on 16th. Of course, Lazio are in seventh. But a win for them. They could go as high as third in a tier. And in fact, a win here would actually get them into the top four. I think two no win for that, at least 24 hours. Uh, next up, of course, Juventus taking a goal Spezia. Let's take a look at this. Pleasure of the last three. Just one for Juventus, one for Spezia, one draw. Last round in, uh, of course, Juventus was back in Serie B. That's right, Juventus uh, back in 2007, of course. It was a five-goal thriller going in favour of Spezia. Jean Alan Bumsong on the, on the score sheet. Big for OG, Massimo Gertini and Nicola Padion as well. David Trezeguet, Rafael Bianco on the score sheet for Juventus as they lost. Uh, of course, uh, they did play other this season. It was a 4 one win for, for, for Juventus. In Spezia, uh, Marat on the score sheet, Renato with the race, and uh, Edrin Rabot. Tomoso Popoyega on the score sheet for the Spezia, of course. Heading into so, uh, Juventus, actually won 24. The last 30 home matches in Serie uh, Also, keeping a clean sheet in the last three at home. Uh, heading into this, though, just. Uh one defeat in the past four games. So Spezia, that one defeat was against Fiorentina. Of course, uh, meanwhile, just one win in the past five games to the Juventus. That one was against Crotone. They've lost against Napoli. They lost against Porto. They've drew against uh, uh, Inter in the in Copa Italia. They've also drawn against Verona. It's not been a good run of games to the Juventus. As, of course, the bookies are. It's 92-1 for the Juventus. Of course, 5-1 to is your, your, your draw. 11-1 is your long stop. That is Spezia. Spezia currently find themselves in 14th. But a win for them, they could actually go as high as 11th. The Juventus are in third. A win for them, they could close in on second. But they can't really make much movements going upwards. Uh, for me, they're going to have a 3 0 win to keep themselves into the top four. Uh, into Wednesday, we go Salsudo taking, of course, Napoli. Uh, these two side players are the last six. One win for Salsudo, four for Napoli, one draw. Last round in Salsudo, it was a, one, a 2 1 win for Napoli. Allen on the score sheet, Pedro Obiang with a big for OG and Hamed Junior Traore on the score sheet. That's back in December 2019. They also played each this season in Napoli, down in Naples, of course. Salsudo came out top with a 2 0 win. Locatelli and Lopez on the score sheet, uh, giving Salsudo the W. Heading into so Napoli, losing their last three away matches, conceding at least two goals in those last three. And they came into this winning three of the past five games losing to Granada and Atalanta at home. Just one win in the past six games, though, for Sausulio. That one was against Crotone, and it was on the road as well. Look at the bookies' odds on this one. Then shall we, of course, Sausulio 11-4 for the victory. 10, uh, 11 10 on is your, of course, in Napoli. If 30-5 is the draw, Sausulio down into ninth. Better win for them. They could go in as high as eighth. Napoli are in sixth. Better win for them. They could go as high as three, depending on the goal swing as well. Tight one, this one. Going to go with a draw. 1-1 one, one right down the middle. Next up, of course, Cagliari, of course, in the relegation zone. Taking, of course, Bologna, who are sitting in mid-table. Nice and pretty, of course. Uh, pleasure the last 
six, two wins apiece, and two bloody draws. Last time around in Cagliari, was a 3-2 win. Goals galore, five goal thriller back in October 2019. Jao Pedro with a brace, Giovanni Simeone on the score sheet as well. Federico Santander uh, on the score sheet for Bologna, and Paolo Farriego with a big fat OG, giving Bologna some hope, but unfortunately not good enough. However, they play each other this season out in Bologna, was also a 3-2 win, but this time going in favour of Bologna. Musa Barro with a couple of goals there, Roberto Soriano as well. Giovanni Simeone and Jao Pedro on the score sheet once again. Heading into Cagliari, losing five of the last six home matches. Heading into this, uh, unbeaten the last four, that's Bologna picking up two wins, two draws to beat, just one win in the past six games for Cagliari. That was against Crotone just the other day. Uh, look at Bookie's odds on this one. And then, of course, Cagliari will be the underdogs. I think 17 to 10, but the victory 13 to 8 is your Bologna. 23 to 10 is the draw. Uh, Cagliari in 18th, but a win for them. They could go above Torino in this, into safety, of course, into 17th. As for Bologna, they're 11th, but a win for them. They could go into the top 10. Oh, yes. Do they believe? No. I've got Cagliari with the win. Shocker. 1 0 in the end. Atalanta taking on Crotone uh, this midweek as well. Taking place on Wednesday, the 3rd of March. Page of the last six, four for Atalanta. Nothing for Cotone and two draws last round in Atalanta was a 5-1 win for Atalanta back in September 2017 and Petango on the score sheet Pablo Gomez with a couple of goals there Joseph Illich and Mattia Caldera as well uh, Marco Tremiero on the score sheet of course Cotone back of course three years ago meanwhile they played this season in Cotone back in October 2-1 uh, win for Atalanta Luis Muriel with a couple of goals there Slimi or Simi on the score sheet of Cotone heading into this so Cotone losing uh, the last six away matches uh, Atalanta though have won the last four home matches against Cotone in all comps heading into this so it's just uh, one win a one defeat the past five for uh, Atalanta in all competitions and one defeat was against Real Madrid in the Champions League and like we said at least six games and a six game losing run for Cotone as they head into this match look at the bookies odds on this one then shall we of course Atalanta uh, 6 to 1 on for the victory Stone Cold Ferris 30 to 2 is draw at 12 to 1 is your Cotone Cotone are going down it looks like 12 points on the board so far but with them they could close in on Palmer as for their opposition Atalanta they're in uh, fourth at the moment but with them they could go third in the table oh yes they'll get the win here with a 2-0 win over Cotone next up we have a fruity counter of course between Fiorentina up against Fiorentina uh, Roma, of course, their last six, one for Fiorentina, three for Roma, two draws. Last round in Fiorentina was a 4-1 win uh, for Roma, of course, back in December 2019. Uh, Zeko, Kolarov, Pellegrini and Zanilo on the score sheet. Milan Badrej on the score sheet, of course, for Fiorentina. They also played this season in Roma as a 2-0 win. Spinozola on the score sheet and Pedro as well. Lucas Martinez, Quata, got himself sent off for Fiorentina. Heading into this, though, Roma failing to score the last three away. Uh, they've also won, though, the last three matches against Fiorentina at all comps. Heading into this, just one win in the past five games for Fiorentina. That was against Spezia. Meanwhile, just one defeat the past five games for Roman that was against AC Milan that defeat that was just the other day look at the bookies odds on this one then shall we of course uh, what do we have on this one uh, where are we where are they 14 to 5 for 13 to 5 for 2 as you draw 20 to 19 on your Roma are your favourite of course they're coming to sit in 5th a win for them they could third go 3rd as for 13 they're down to 15th but a win for them they could go as high as 11th in the table go with the 2-1 win narrow win but a win indeed for Roma next up of course AC Milan who are in 2nd I guess Udinese who can find themselves in mid-table in 12th pleasure the last 6-3 for Milan of course 1 for Udinese 2 draws last round in Milan was a 3 2 win for Milan back in, of course, January 2020. Rebic with a couple of goals there. Theo Hernandez as well. Kevin Lasagna, uh, of course, on Scotty. Jens Stryger last in as well for Udinese, but they lost. Uh, they also pitched this season in Udinese. Of course, back in November, 2 1 win for Milan. Kessie and Ibrahimovic on the score sheet. Rodrigo de Paul on the score sheet for Udinese, but a li too little, too late. Of course, heading into this, uh, Udinese just one defeat the past six. That one defeat was against Roma. Meanwhile, just one win the past five for AC Milan. The one win was against Roma as well. Uh, look at the odds on this one then, shall we? Of course, uh, AC Milan coming at 11 8 on for the victory. They are your favourites. 11 4 is a draw, 7 2 is Udinese. Udinese coming out to Anna in 12th. Over them, they could go as high as 10th. Milan are second, and over them, they could close in on first. Still got a bit of a gap between themselves and first four points at the moment. But of course, this win will do them the world of good. Actually, close the gap to just one point uh, for at least 24 hours. 2 0 win for Milan to remove the bloody chains. Uh, next up, of course, Benevento taking, of course, Verona. Let's take a look at this one then, shall we? Place of the last six, two for Benevento, three for Verona, one draw. Last round in Benevento was back in Serie B. Back in December 2018, it was a 1 0 win for Verona. Of course, the one and only goal scorer was Ray. De Mastos. Uh, a couple of sending offs. Uh, Andrea Costa for Benevento and Julia Belakovic uh, for Verona. And also, a picture that this is in Verona. a 3 1 win for Verona, of course. Uh, Antonio Bariac with a couple of goals there. Darko Lazovic as well. Gianluca Lapatula getting himself a goal for Benevento. And also Gianluca Capiari got himself sent off. Meanwhile, Benevento drawing the last three home matches. Verona failing to win uh, their last five away. Heading into this, just one win the past five games for Verona. That one was against Parma. They're also unbeaten in the last three. Uh, meanwhile, just one defeat in the past four games for the Benevento, but of course, no wins in six. Wow, wow, wee wow. Look at the bookies' odds on this one, then, shall we? Benevento, 2 to 1 for the victory, 9 to 4 is a draw. 
Eleven eight is your Verona. Verona are in eighth, so win for them. They could close it in on seventh. Benevento in sixteenth. The moment better win for them. They could go as high as eleventh. Wow, I'm gonna go with a one-one draw on this one. Point split right down the middle. Next up, of course, Genoa taking of course Sampdoria. Uh, they played on the last six, two wins apiece and two draws. Last time around in Genoa, the one they win for Sampdoria back in December two thousand nineteen. The one on goal scorer Manolo Gabbiadini on score sheet, of course, former Southampton man right there. Of, of course, they took pleasure that this season in Sampdoria is a one-one draw back in November. They also played in the Coppa Italia and Genoa came out with a three-one win. Sampdoria winning a six the last seven away matches against Genoa in all comps. Uh, also, Sampdoria keeping a clean sheet. Five last seven away matches against Genoa in all comp positions. They head into this just one win in the past five, though. That one win was at Fiorentina. Meanwhile, just one defeat the past six games for Genoa. Keep them believing that they're going to have a fantastic rest of the season, of course. Look at the bookies odds on this one. Genoa coming at you out of this. 95 for the victory. 94 to draw. 64 is just Sampdoria. Of course, Genoa are in, of course, 13th. But a win for them, they could go 11th. Uh, Sampdoria in 10th. But a win for them, they could close in on 9th. Going to go with a 2 1 for Sampdoria. Break the hoodoo, get the win, move the chains. And wrapping up, it'll be Parma up against Inter Milan. This game will take place on Thursday, the 4th of March. Of course, picture the last 5 1 for Parma, 2 for Inter Milan, and 2 draws. Last round in Parma was a 2 1 win for Inter Milan, of course, back in June 2020 without fans. 7 to Vrish and Alessandro Bastoni on the score sheet for, for Inter Milan. Jovino going to go for Parma, of course. Uh, Giudice J. Cuca and Tommaso Berrini uh, get themselves sent off for the respective clubs. They also picture that this season out in Milan was a 2 2 draw uh, back in of course, uh, October. Brozovic and Perisic on the score sheet for Inter, Inter Milan. Of course, Jovino with a couple goals there for Parma. Heading into the Inter Milan eventually won the last five matches and also has kept clean sheet in six of the last seven uh, matches as well. They come into this though, uh, four out of the past five. Of course, the only blip was a draw against Juventus. Meanwhile, back-to-back -back games for Parma with, of course, draws. But before that, uh, four games losing run. Look at the book's odds on this one, then, shall we? Of course, Parma actually 10 1 for the victory, 4 to 1 on Inter, Inter Milan, 19 to 4 is the draw. Of course, Inter Milan are top and they'll be top no matter what. As for the flip side, of course, Parma all the way down into 19th, but it went for them. They can actually go as high as 18th in the bloody table. For me, what have I gone with on this one? I've gone with a 2 0 win for Inter Milan, which, of course, will keep them sitting pretty at the top of the table. And if I'm right, this is what the table will look like at the end of it. Of course, Inter Milan would still have that four point cushion over AC Milan. Juventus will be in third, Atalanta will be a fourth. Uh, Roma Lazio uh, will be in the yeah, respective fifth and sixth. Now, the table, Cotone, Parma, and Torino now going down as Cagliari picked up a big old point or a big old fat win this time around. That's more why I think it'll happen. Be sure to get your picks in nice and for this one, and we'll do it all again midweek. Until then, though, be sure to give the video some love and smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe. Also, check out the links down below. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, and again, if you want to support chat in another way, you could become the latest member of the Patreon gang. Check out the link down below, patreon.com forward slash Robert But until then, I'll see you all soon. Mask up, six feet, all that kind of stuff. Have Get happy, get predicted, and I'll see you all next time around.